Hello guys, we're gonna um, peace mode here. We're gonna make uh, some Jello shots. Uh, got my Jello here. We're gonna make a uh, vodka and uh, or vodka and rum, uh, spice rum, cherry uh, Jello shots uh, for you guys. Um, show you how that goes. Uh, first, boiling water. Uh, biggest step about it. Follow instructions how how to do it. Uh, instead of adding, what is it? The uh, What do they call it? Like, it's like follow the instructions. You need two cups of water. Just sub, we're gonna just substitute that extra uh, cup of water for alcohol. So uh, we're gonna do that. And uh, what's that? Um, stir in the cold water. One cup boiling. One cup cold. So that's all we need. I'm just gonna assume this is cold water. As people joke about that every day, right? So there it is. Boiling water is done. I got a little. You can use this kind of thing, or just boil it on the stove. Either way, you can make it into a pot. I like this way. It's nice and easy. Just pour it into a nice uh, cup here. Turn it out two cups of water. Uh, two cups there, you can just see that. I'm gonna pour that in to this bowl here. Next, I'm gonna get a uh, open these boxes up, pour it in there, and then stir it up so everything dissolves. And then we're gonna add some alcohol. Uh, you can change the amount uh, of water that you want to use, make it a little thinner, um, make it less alcoholic, depends on how much you want, uh, how strong you want it to be. Like this way, just uh, mixing flavors works really good with uh, doing that, use this. Nice and cherry flavored right there. See how dark that is. That is some really nice cherry flavored jello going on there. I smell it. That's how strong it is. But uh, then, and add this. So we're gonna stir this until it's fully dissolved. I might have to add a little extra water just to touch more. Hopefully everything goes pretty well here. Stir that up. Okay, so that's pretty good now. So we want to add our alcohol now. And so I want to do about half and half of each. Don't uh, care how much that is. So I'm going to do that out. Jeez. Just pour it in the same cup so you get good. Yeah. Might add a little extra. Finish that off. That's almost gone, so might as well just use it up. Or I could have taken a shot. Put it now. So I'm gonna pour that in. About a little bit over a cup there. And then add another cup or so here. Vodka. Add that to the mix. I'm gonna make it a little thinner just because of how much alcohol we put into it. Don't want it too strong. But so I'm gonna add a little just a tad more water. Mix. And mix that up. Next is the putting it into cups. 
these I think these cups work pretty good. Uh, nice two ounce cups, shot glass type cup. Uh, can get them at Walmart for was it three bucks? Uh, six bucks for a hundred. They come in fifty packs. Three bucks per pack of that. So we'll put those in there. Uh, so yeah. So I'm gonna get uh, put these cups all over this. Uh, got a pan here sitting. I'm gonna set all of my cups on here. So you can see this, but uh, set this down. And I can just take from the top. And then I'm gonna use this stirring stick that I use here, or baser, and start filling these up. Maybe a little bit fuller than that. Don't want to get too full. Or else they get to be a little hassle there and uh, end up getting overfilled and going with that uh, for when we put on the tops. So, this spacer is probably not the best idea, but best I have for right now. Keeps falling out, but work what we got. Fill this, keep doing this until we're done. And then keep going with that. Take about two, how many of you can take in your hand without dropping them. Uh, turn on the water and just uh, rinse them, flip them over. Should be able to do pretty good. They should, this should have a seal to it, shouldn't matter. Just stack them up and then we'll dry them off before we put them into the fridge. Uh, Careful, it might, might drop, so some off. So we can do this, just get this all off and then we can make sure that they're all clean. So, so double check so that we don't have to clean our fridge after we're done with it. Uh, another use or um, way of doing this, you can put ice into a cooler uh, to chill them after, uh, for keep, safekeeping. I know a lot of people have to do that uh, for when bringing in the parties. The same type of thing. It works pretty well to do that for, for this kind of thing and make sure that uh, that's not, you can easy clean that. So. We're good with that. No, no, that's probably. So we're gonna load some of these in here. Uh, down below we have a uh, stack. Nice one right here. Got a did these a little earlier. They're a little fuller. I realized that I made a mistake on that, so I wanted to change that up. And they kind of overfilled the thing, so take that later. But uh. So, whoa, did these fall? Okay. So, set a paper towel in just in case. Not if they, even if they're still a little wet or just, just in case it's still less cleaning afterwards. Just put these in uh, onto the floor here. And uh, so then we keep it so it keeps dry and. Uh, so no cleaning afterwards. So we'll clean this, put these in here, then 
We'll have these in about four hours. Uh, probably go to a movie. Come back, watch a movie or do whatever you got to do, and it'll be ready for you. Uh, do some other chores, clean up, all that kind of stuff. Make sure that is taken care of. Okay. Was that good? Okay. So, uh, got the shots nice and solid now. We can get this uh, bad boy gone, taste it for the first time. Check it out. Pretty good. Tastes pretty good. Uh, pretty solid. Good shots.